Okay, I think we have to start with what is the network. Okay, now let's say you've got four friends A, B, C, D. Okay, so they all come for a gathering. So everyone shakes hands with everyone. So now if you look at it, A will shake hands with B, A will shake hands with C, A will shake hands with D. I'm drawing one line for every handshake that occurs. Now B shakes hands with A, B shakes hands with C, B shakes hands with D, and C shakes hands with D. Now this will be your network because these tails I'll erase. Okay. So that's a network. You can also have networks uh, representing other things. For example, in a particular city, there might be say three main, uh, or even you can have five, six main tourist spots. Okay. So let's say this is spot A, spot B, spot C, spot D, spot E, and there might be roads connecting them, which are direct. that will be a network of roads. There can be a network of water pipelines, network of gas pipelines, all kinds of networks. So then we'll review the definition. Graph is a set of points together with line segments joining the points in pairs is a graph or network. Okay. Okay, then nodes. A point is a node if there is at least one path starting from it or reaching it. So all these points are nodes. If there is some point which is just not connected or some friend who comes and is just not just doesn't shake hands, then in the graph it won't be a node. Okay? Three nodes. No, no, no. A is a node because it has at least one path reaching it. Okay. Or starting <coughs> from it. So all these A, B, C, D are nodes. They are represented by capital letters. Mm. And the number of nodes is represented by capital N, which in this case is how much? One. How many nodes are there in this graph? One, two, three, four. Next is arcs, okay. So what did we talk about? We first talked about what's a graph, yeah. right? So what is a graph? That's a set of points together with the line segments, which are joining the points in pairs. That's a graph. And what's a node? Any point which has a path starting from it or reaching it. That's a node. Then is arc. Now what do you mean by an arc? The line segment joining two nodes is an arc. See, this AB would be an arc. The number of arcs in a graph is denoted by A. How many arcs are there in this graph? 1, 2, 3, 4 on the outside, 2 inside. So, 6 arcs. Then there is something known as regions. Okay. Now if you see here, 1, this region, I just, I think it's easier to just shade them up. See, this is region 1, then you can take this as region 2, you can take this as region 3, you can take this as a region, a region 4. And everything outside is also a region. See, this is also a region. So totally, 5 regions are there. So it's represented by capital R, capital R, and that is 5 regions for this case. Okay. Now our task here is to find the number of nodes, number of arcs and number of regions. How many nodes are there? 1, 2, 3 and Four nodes are there. So number of nodes n is four. four. Yeah. How many areas are there here? Sorry, how arcs. many arcs are there? Four. Arcs, can be, arcs can be straight lines as well as curved Six. lines. Six. <coughs> how many regions are there? Uh, One, one two, two, three, three, four. Outside also is the region. Yeah. So for this example, again we have to find number of nodes. Number of nodes here is how much? Three. Three. Okay. Then you'll find number of arcs. How many arcs are there? Three. Three. How many regions are there? Regions one. Hmm? Two. Two. So I think with that you can start with the first with the exercise ten point two. Right? Yeah. Good.